to Black and Gold today, brought to you by Cadillac of New Orleans. I'm Rachel Whitaker. The Saints have won 10 of their past 14 games against the Cardinals, but this is a new season, and the Saints have a lot to prove. Today, we scout their Week 1 foe with Jody Jackson of Fox Sports Arizona. Jody, great to see you. Good to see you too, Rachel. Thank you. Well, the Saints we know are really struggling with the pass rush right now, which they'll need to disrupt quarterback Carson Palmer. Now, he seems to be on a mission this season, Jody, to get back to the playoffs that he couldn't play in last year because he was injured. No, you're right about that. He really uh, felt great about the way that he had played all season and even the prior season. I mean, he's 13 and two in his last 15 games with the Cardinals. And so, you know, last year when he went down with that torn ACL in November, he told us, he was very honest about it. He said he cried like a baby that night because, you know, he had been through that injury before. He knew it was a long road. And um, with the team that they had, the way they were playing, both offensively and defensively, he knew that was a missed opportunity. And the team knew that as well. So this year he is back. And he's looked extremely sharp because also his shoulder, he had some nerve damage in that shoulder early last year. And he played with that. And, and you know, but now that arm is that much stronger. Uh, he says the knee feels good. So, you know, it's the same story here for the Cardinals as it was early last year. It's about protecting Carson. And there are some injuries on the O-line. They signed Mike Upati away from the 49ers. So he's been to a couple of Pro Bowls, but he's out right now. He'll be out for the first few weeks of the season. Um, after undergoing knee surgery. The spotlight will be in the trenches for sure, and it really showed how much the Cardinals needed Carson Palmer when they dropped four of their last six games last year and lost right away in the playoffs. But on, on the defensive side, Jody, we immediately know LSU connections, Patrick Peterson, Tyron Matthew, and linebacker Kevin Minter as well. But what else might make that unit scary for Drew Brees and the Saints offense? Well, you're right. Those three are all very good players. Uh, Kevin last year played hurt with a torn pectoral muscle, which is very um, painful, but he played through it. So I think we're going to see the best of Kevin Minter. But we know what Tyron can do and what Patrick can do, and they should be ball hawking back there. Um, they also, though, have issues with the pass rush. You know, there isn't, like, one guy that really they rely on. Alex Okafor is a name to watch. He had eight sacks last season, and he could be the guy that could sort of carry the team in that respect. But you'll see blitzes from everywhere, as Todd Bowles did last year in the last few years as defensive coordinator. James Betcher, who is the new defensive coordinator, he likes to do the same type of thing. So they'll bring pressure from different places. Saints questionable defense in terms of their injuries in the secondary, especially uh, they're going to need Drew Brees and the, and, and the receivers as well. Brandon Cook's looking to come back strong. They're going to need them to produce. So Jody, do you expect a close game? You know, I do. I do. I have to tell you, it won't be popular there in New Orleans. But, you know, I think that in the home field advantage here, it's much like the dome there. Uh, it can be really difficult for teams to come in and play. So uh, it's not just because I live here in Arizona and covered the team for 15 years, but I feel that the Cardinals will have the edge in this one. And as always, we kind of mentioned that wild card is special teams. That could be a factor as well, where, by the way, Patrick Peterson is very excited about getting the chance to maybe uh, return punts again because he was very good at it. His rookie year had a couple of touchdowns, in fact, a rookie record. So be on the lookout for that as well. <laughs> Great point there. We saw that for sure, that explosiveness when he was at LSU. So, again, looking to be a great game. The, the, the Saints absolutely would love to overcome some, some injuries on defense. But, again, the Cardinals just as eager to get back on track in week one. So, Jody, thank you so much. Great insight. Great to visit with you, Rachel. Thank you. And we'll be right back with our Fantasy Football Minute. To own the finest luxury vehicles in the whole world, you've got to come here to Cadillac of New Orleans. Award-winning service and the world's finest luxury vehicles available daily. Now at Cadillac of New Orleans. New owners, new attitude on Lime Street and Rye in Metairie. It's time again for our weekly fantasy football segment with our resident columnist, Jim Derry. Jim, welcome back. 
Let's get it rolling. I'm glad it's week one finally. Let's move. <laughs> finally, kickoff game is tonight. So, Jim, let's start with a Saint to watch this week. Who you got? We're going to go with tight end Josh Hill. Even though Ben Watson is listed as the starter, uh, Josh Hill is getting most of the looks in the red zone and will. I mean, even last year with Jimmy Graham, he had five touchdown receptions. I think that could. Be, I think he could easily have ten touchdowns this year. He's going to be a big time red zone target. I like him in week one. Let's go with Josh Hill. <laughs> Excellent. The Saints are hoping he can produce as well to give the tight ends a boost for sure. So, who do you think wins on Sunday afternoon, Jim? Sorry, who dads. I don't see the Saints going out to the desert. I think it's going to be a tough opening game. They really got a, a, a bad draw right here. I think the Saints lose. I think Arizona wins. I'm going to say 31 to 24. I'm thinking it'll be about a touchdown difference, not a runaway by any means. I'm still, I'm still up in the air. I'll have an official pick on Friday's show, but I, I'm leaning towards Arizona right now. I want to go with the Saints, but I just don't know if the defense is up to it. So I'll think it over and have an official pick. Well, I'll be looking Friday. forward to that pick, and uh, who that's don't hate. <laughs> right, exactly. Jim, has, uh, he's, he's done very well uh, with his picks uh, last season and this season, so feel free to challenge him. So, Jim, thanks so much. Thanks, Rachel. We'll see you next week. Sounds great. And join us again on Friday, everyone, when we're back at Saints Camp. See you then.